<laughs> now, every time I see that trailer, I get so hyped. <laughs> Joining us now, this is the highlight of our week, if not our month. Michael B. Jordan here to, I mean, do you need to promote Black Panther at this point? He's already setting re set records for free sales. We got activists coming up with, with, with foundations to go yeah, on me to send kids to see it. Which I donated to, yeah. In theaters, Friday, Appreciate February that. 16th. We going on the 15th. Uh, right. Anyway, I read that uh, <laughs> in your turn as a villain, you actually studied Heath, Le Heath Ledger's Joker. So what's Michael Jordan, Michael B. Jordan going to be like as a villain in Black Panther? Yeah, I mean, honestly, you know, as a, as a fan of just, uh, you know, uh, comic books and, and graphic novels, like Heath Ledger's performance, you know, you know, as far as in a film's concerned as a villain was just, you know, my generation's like, that was the bar. He, he, he killed it. So for me, you know, just trying to find... Uh, that 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 controlled rage, you know, kind of like you know, you know the most, the villains that are the, the, the are the, the most fun to watch for me are the ones that you kind of empathize with. You kind of know where they're coming from. You can see their point of view. So, I tried to bring a little bit of that groundedness to to, to Killmonger. Now, uh, Mike, this is already being anticipated as perhaps the biggest film in the of the year because I would imagine Infinity Wars might be your only competition, so to speak. But this cast, you, Chadwick, Lupita, I mean, Forrest uh, Whitaker, Forrest Whitaker, Forrest Whitaker like, Angela literally Bassett. every black Ooh, actor, Angela, yes. you know what I'm saying? Every <laughs> black actor of note that has ever done yeah. anything is pretty much in this movie. <laughs> and of course, uh, you have, you know, just this idea that you have this big budget film, Ryan Coogler. Mm -hmm. What is what is this meaning? What does this mean kind of larger? from a, a cultural standpoint for this big budget film with all of these black actors and actresses and with the careers that you guys have had, what does this mean to you guys personally to see this movie off to this kind of success even before it has even started? I mean, honestly, just being a part of history, uh, you know, honestly, that if this film, the numbers that, you know, it could do moving forward and what it could mean for other opportunities in the next generation coming up and, you know, how many other studios are going to try to take a chance at a more diverse, eclectic class, uh, uh, cast like we, like we have right now, just being a part of that conversation and that story is, is truly incredible. And then obviously, you know, with Ryan Coogler, you know, leading us, you know, it's, uh, you know, for me, it's our third project. So for us to kind of do that again, it, it means the world. I think it, yeah, it's pretty exciting. In sports, we talk a lot about partnerships between uh, Fruitville Station, uh, Creed, and soon to be Creed 2, and now Black Panther. How would you describe the synergy between you and Ryan Coogler? Uh, unspoken, you know, we got to kind of like, you know, uh, our own our own language. You know, we can kind of look at each other and, and, and know what we're thinking. And, you know, it's, uh, it's special. I think I lucked up, you know, pretty early in my career finding a director that, you know, we kind of get, you know, we had that, that, that close of, that close of a bond and uh yeah we, we plan on doing projects and movies you know for, for for years to come as long as you guys would have us now look i know you're a great actor and you played athletes before but uh we read somewhere that lebron is the one professional athlete you'd want to portray in a movie how would you portray lebron <laughs> in a movie who said that who, who said that i love lebron that's my guy that's big bro i don't even know if i could play lebron like they gonna put like like put some lifts on me or something. <laughs> like I'm, I'm barely scraping six feet right now. I'm but no, I think you'd have to no, lose I some think, hair. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, my bad. Oh man, <laughs> shots <laughs> fired. You hear that, Bronny? She, she coming for different. you, bro. She That's coming. my dog. That's my dog. Nah. <laughs> No, but it's one of those things where I, LeBron, with any character, I had to spend a lot of time with them, you know, um, be around them, talk to them, kind of, you know, get get personal, you know, figure out, you know, what's his, his deepest inner 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 dialogue, inner thoughts, and, and really try to go method for, with them. <laughs> hey, man, if we if we could, if they let us, we talk to you all day. But unfortunately, we gotta let you go. Before we do, speak for Jamel. We're so proud of you. Uh, so honestly. happy to talk to you. Going back to the wire. Huge fans of your work, man. Just keep it going. It's gonna be a big year for you. Thank you for spending some time with us, and we'll chop it up. Real soon. Like, Michael B. Jordan, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir. Appreciate Where's you guys. <laughs> you guys, I'm right here. You guys keep doing what you're doing because I'm proud of you guys too. Jamel, stay strong. Don't let nothing knock you off your block. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, I'm proud of you. All right, I'm super thanks, proud Mike. I appreciate yep. that.